This next exhibition is a solo show where an artist is revealing his lines and legacy at the National Museum in Lagos. It's a form of visual expression where various instruments like pens, pencils, charcoal or crayon are used to interpret the subject. It's mostly the foundation for any art beginner and a medium a lot of contemporary artists are rooting for. Some of them have forgotten about it once they attained a certain height in their careers. This artist has refused to forget and has dedicated his solo exhibition, Lines and Legacy, to preserving a foundation and a culture. This exhibition consists of bodies of work, all right, that comprises of architectural you know, heritage, it comprises of fashion, lifestyle, and um, you know, air style. I try to show here that the, the art form of air style, that we are losing that legacy. Okay, if you look at Lagos, you know, back in the 70s and the 80s, women take time to, to do their air styles in very artistic way. So much so that even the hairstyles are, are titled. Some, some of them are, are you know, they, are commem they commemorate events in the city. Like Festac, you know, they have an hairstyle for, you know, that represents that, you know. The one I'm about to talk about now is, is I titled the work Ori Owo hmm? Onile Gogoro. Ori Owo Onile Gogoro, it sounds like a name and a surname, but I coined that title, okay? Oreo Oreo refers to the the head you see in the work, and Onilego Goro is the name of the hairstyle. All right, and if you look at the work, there are coins. I use I embellish the work with coins, which also is a faded legacy, you know, that we have. You know, we are no more using coins, tra transacting business in coins anymore. So the, this younger generation don't have a clue of what the value of those things are. It's based on two things, lines because it's a drawing exhibition. Everything you see here is just about drawing, use of lines to express what you have in mind. Legacy because most of the things I've documented here are heritage. They are things, you know, that is a, it's my effort of preserving the heritage and the things around us, landmarks and lifestyle of the people of Lagos. He has captured it in over 20 works of art, addressing how the need to develop the present is slowly eroding the historic sites Nigeria is renowned for. This particular building is it's known as Olaya House. Okay? It's one of the best, it's considered the best um, example okay, of Brazilian architectural design in the city of Lagos. This 161-year-old building has been declared, has been des designated as national monument. But just unfortunately that two years ago it was pulled down. These are things that our government need to, you know, 
make, they need to make a concerted effort to preserve, you know, legacies like this, heritage like this, you know, for posterity. Because if you, if you, if you look at the history of Lagos, these are the evidence that tells you what the city has been like, you understand? In as much as government is um, making effort to take Lagos to another, to a new level of a mega city, okay? But you don't do that by destroying your legacy. You don't do that by destroying the past. My works are unique in the sense that um, over the time I've created a niche for myself in this area of document, of, of being a doc, you know, documenting heritage and landmarks, okay? So I'm more or less a monument artist, okay? So when you see the works, without even looking at the signature, you know that this is, this must, this probably must be someone's work. And if you look at my paintings, the colors are soft, subtle, you know, to convey, you know, that there are works that you can live with. For him, these are things the government needs to give a second look. People, places and issues that can drive tourism in the country. When tourists come, what are they going to see? You've destroyed most of the legacies, things, historical things that they would love to see because they've read about the history of Lagos. If you Google about Lagos, some of these things are mentioned, but there's no evidence on ground to show it because they've been pulled down. Culture is the way of life of the people, while a lot of problems can be solved by looking at our history. These are the treasures the artist believes cannot be sacrificed on the altar of modernization. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Next week on the program, we'll be showing you what went down at the Lagos Photo Festival. Then a drama as well. And I know a lot of my fans have been asking for that. So don't miss the next edition of Art House. And if you do, play catch up online on any of our platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a lovely day. <music>